How's it going everybody? So in today's video we're going to be learning how to on the click of a button send an email attachment using AWS, React, API Gateway, and Lambda. So this is what we're going to be building right here. It's a very very simple front end. We have this basic choose file input field where we can only select a PDF and I downloaded this sample.pdf from uh, the internet and if I were to click send to Lambda it will then send this PDF over to our AWS uh, API gateway which then sends to our lambda which then will send it to our email address I have this temporary email address built right here we can see right here we have our email and with our attachment right here I can download that and then we'll see that we have our PDF attachment right here awesome without further ado let's get into it alright so I'm going to assume that you already have an AWS account made and that you already have a basic simple react app made as well so the first thing that we're going to be doing in our console is that we need to create an IAM policy which is going to trigger our simple email service so I'm going to search up inside of the search field right here IAM and then I'm going to go over into policies and I'll create a new policy as you can see I already created one earlier but I'll create a brand new one and so I'll do click on JSON right here and this is the JSON that we're going to be doing just take a minute go ahead and pause the video copy it over if not it is going to be in the description below as well and so next I'm going to click tags and I'll just click review and the name I'll give it let's call it send email attachment policy and I'll create the policy alright now that we've created our policy we're gonna to have to create a role and attach our policy to that role so I'm gonna go ahead and click roles right here and I'll click on this button called create role and I'm gonna go ahead and click lambda right here and then I'll click on permissions we'll leave the tags as oh we actually need to use a policy so the policy that we created earlier, it was the send email attachment policy. So I'll go ahead and click on the checkbox and I'll click tags. We don't want any tags. And I'll call this role send PDF attachment tutorial role. And I'll click on next, create the role. And now we've created our role. Let's go ahead and create our Lambda function and apply this role to that. All right, so to create a Lambda function, it's going to be really simple. Inside of the search field, I'm going to search up Lambda. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this big orange button right here called Create Function. And I'll call our Lambda function Send Email PDF Attachment function and just in case I don't mix it up with my other lambda I'll just add tutorial at the end of it all right awesome so we are going to be using node and let me see if we need to we need to use an existing role so the role that we created earlier we're going to be using this role right here send PDF attachment tutorial role and now we can go ahead and create our function Awesome. Now we've created our Lambda function. Now that we have our Lambda function created, we need to actually connect our email address to simple email service so that our Lambda function knows to send the email attachment to that email. So in this case, I'm going to be using temp mail, um, so our temporary email address. And inside of my search field right here in our AWS console, I'm going to search up SES and it should pop up Amazon simple email service. And I'm going to scroll a little bit down. I'm going to click on create identity and I'm going to click on email address. And the email address is just going to be the email address that we want to connect it to. So mine is going to be in our case, this dhu2166 at whatever email address. And I'm just going to click on create identity. And so now it's going to ask us to actually verify that we want to connect this email address to SES. So now we have our email right here. I'll go ahead and open it. And we're just going to click on this link right here. Awesome. Now we're connected. Perfect. All right. Now that we are verified and we're connected to our SES console, 
what we're gonna have to do now is create an API gateway which is gonna be responsible for talking to our React app via a fetch request so that we can actually send our email attachment and whatever email body that we need to our Lambda function so that we can send that email to our actual user. So to create this API gateway in the search field, I'm gonna do searches, type up API, and the first result we see is API gateway. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this orange button right here. This says create API. And we're gonna be creating an HTTP API. And I'll go ahead and click on build. And the API name that we'll give it, let's call it send PDF attachment tutorial API, just so we know for a fact that this is our API that we want. And I'm gonna click on next. And for our routes, as of now, we're not gonna do anything, so I'll click on next. Our configuration stage default is perfectly fine. And so this looks perfect. We're gonna click on create. And now we've created our actual API. Now we need to create a route. More specifically, we need to create a post route so that we can actually invoke that in our React app and we can send out new emails whenever we click on the send Lambda button that we saw in the beginning. So to create a new route, we have to click on this routes button underneath develop and I'm going to click on this button that says create and I'll just, in this drop down I'll click on post and we'll do slash send email for our slash route and I'll click create perfect now we've created our route that's it that's all we needed all right now we've created our API gateway we've created our post route now if we try to actually invoke this it won't do anything because it's not connected to our lambda so to do that what we have to do is underneath develop there's a tab called integrations. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click on post and it'll give us this blurb right here called integration details and I'll click on create and attach an integration. This is gonna allow us to actually talk to our Lambda function. So for our post request, for our post route, we're gonna do Lambda function and the Lambda function that we've created was send email PDF attachment function tutorial. And I'm gonna keep this as enabled and I'm gonna click on create. Now we've created and attached our API gateway to our Lambda. All right, so I opened up my VS code and inside of here, I made a brand new React app. And what we're gonna be doing is we need to create a method to capture or to select a PDF from our computer and to convert that PDF into a base64 and to send that base64 on the click of a button using over to our API gateway and from our API gateway we need to send that to our Lambda function so then we can send that to our user. So let's focus on the first part. Let's go ahead and actually create our input fields. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna create a simple form tag and inside of here I'll do an input with a self-closing brace and I'll do type is equal to file and I'll do accept. So we're gonna only accept PDF so I'll do application slash PDF and I'll do on change is equal to on change and next thing outside of our form tag I'm going to create a ternary operator that is going to be called it's going to check base 64 question mark we haven't made this function yet so don't worry if true we're going to do button on click is equal to handle submit don't worry we haven't created that function either and i'll just call it send to lambda lambda i think that's how it's spelled it's always so weird when it's in capitals or just do null so we don't display anything all right now we've created input fields let's go ahead and create our use state variables so our first use state variable and our only use state variable that we need to create it's going to be called const base 64 set base 64 is equal to use state empty quotes and we also need to import use states so next to our react I'll do curly braces and I'll do use state like so perfect now let's go ahead and create our on change function that is going to select our actual uh, that is going to target our file and grab our specific contents of the file so I'll do underneath my use state variable, I'll do const on change is equal to e 
arrow function curly braces const files is equal to e dot target dot files and then we need to target our individual files so I'll do const file is equal to files at the zeroth index and I'll just leave it as that oh wait next thing we also need to actually call our function to proceed so for that we have to do is call get base64 file this is going to be a function that we're going to create right below this and that's going to be const get base64 file whoa not full a file error function and so here we're going to actually have to take whatever file that we have and convert it into a base64 so I'll do let reader is equal to new file reader. If you want to know what all this stuff means, I have a more in-depth tutorial on this in the description below, or there should be like a tag or an I tag that appears on the top right of this video. And I'll do reader dot read as data URL file. And underneath that, I'll do reader dot on load is equal to a function and this header here on load we will do reader dot result and now we need to create our on load function so right above that I'll do const on load is equal to file string and we're gonna do set base 64 to be file string this file string is basically gonna contain our base 64 and we're just setting that base 64 to our base 64 variable right here so really quickly, what we did was we selected our file. Right here, we're getting our base64. And once it's done loading, we're setting our base64 variable to the actual file's base64. I said base64 a lot there. Now, that should be it. I think I'm missing my handle submit function. So for our handle submit function, this is going to be a little bit more intense. But I'll try my best to explain it as best I can. So the const handle submit is equal to e, and I'll do e dot prevent default so it doesn't refresh the page. And we're going to do a simple fetch a simple fetch request, which is going to be calling. You might have guessed it, our API gateway. So going back into my console, I'm going to go into my API gateway. I'm going to select the API that we're talking about. I'll click on stage name and I'll go ahead and copy this to invoke URL. And I'll go back into my app, paste inside of this quotes. And the route that we created was called send email. So send email like that. So now we're invoking our API gateway. So I'll do comma, and inside of here I'll do, whoops, mode. I'm gonna give it no cores. I wanna just avoid that cores error altogether. I'll do method. We need to do a post request. Headers, we will do accept. Whoops, accept. Application slash JSON, comma, Content, whoops, content type application slash JSON, just like before. And comma outside of our headers. Now what we need to do is we actually need to give it the body for our email. So I'll do body JSON dot stringify. And for our first parameter, I'll do sender name quotes sender email oops sender email quotes message quotes base 64 data is equal to base 64 date this will be our subject title new date and file name oops file name will just be test file name all right so for our sender email and our sender name 
it's going to be our temporary email address or whatever email address that you have selected. So in my case, it was this one right here. And I'll just go ahead and post it, paste it inside of these two quotes. And for our message, I'll just do a simple hello world. This is from React app, like so. P S. Bronze the goat. I have to say it at least once a video because people don't believe me. All right, now since we're done with our React app, what we need to do is we need to create, create a simple node application that is gonna be responsible for receiving all of our data from API Gateway and to be able to parse through it, create a simple uh, a simple email and attach our attachment to it and then send it off to our user. Now we would do all of this ideally in the actual Lambda function itself, but since AWS doesn't allow uh, external API, sorry, external NPM packages to be installed, we're gonna have to do it inside of our own VS code or whatever code editor that you're using. So I created a brand new uh, folder that we're gonna be working in called PDF export. And inside of my terminal, once it's done loading, I will do NPM init. And I'm just gonna press enter through all of this. It doesn't really matter what it is. Now we've initialized our project. What we need to do is npm i node mailer and that's it now we're done with that part we need to create a simple file so i'll call it index.js and inside of here is where all of our stuff will be hosted also make sure that you do name your file index.js or else lambda itself won't recognize it properly so i'm going to do const aws is equal to require aws slash sdk don't worry we didn't install this this is already going to be imported into Lambda itself. Next, I'll do const node mailer is equal to require node mailer. This is what we just installed earlier. This is going to allow us to actually send our email using our Lambda function. All right, I'm going to go ahead and quickly walk through the code, and then I'll explain to you guys what I did afterwards. So let's do exports.handler is equal to async event function const sender email, sender name, message, base64 data, date is equal to json.parse, event.body, then I'll do const base64, remove data URI is equal to base64 data, dot replace data colon application slash pdf base 64 comma replace it to that and then we need to do let transporter is equal to node mailer dot create transport ses colon new aws dot ses
All right, so let me just walk through what we did. We did a lot here, so I'll do my best to explain it to the best of as I can. So first, we required AWS and Node Mailer. We don't have this installed, which is perfectly fine. Lambda itself already has it installed for itself. And we installed Node Mailer, and we're requiring it right here. And right here, we are doing this thing where we have this curly braces, sender email, sender name, message, basically for data. Sorry, date is equal to JSON .parse event body. This is actually um, more just modularity wise, so we don't have to event.body.sender email, we can just do sender email, sender name, yada yada. And down here, every single base64 has a little bit of this beginning where it tells us what it is. So in our case, we're only selecting PDFs. So what we're doing is we're actually removing that little first bit and we're just replacing it with an empty quote. So it just became, it just becomes a simple base64. And then next what we're doing is this is something that comes strictly from node mailer so it allows us to actually connect our simple email service to our region that we're working in and it allows us to actually validate that the email that we're using belongs to that region next we have this text in fact i'm not going to use that text we already had a message thing right here so i'm just going to replace that and add that there perfect i'll do the same thing here as well all right, so next we have this email props. This is gonna contain all of our stuff that we need, like a from, so this is coming from our sender name, to our sender email, subject is gonna be our date, text message, sorry, text is gonna be our message, HTML if we had some, um, would just be a simple div with a message, and this is the most important part right here, this is the bread and butter. This is the attachments array of object, which is gonna contain our file name, is going to contain our content, which is going to be our base64 without the initial data URI stuff inside of, in the beginning, and it's encoding it as base64. And finally, we're returning it. All right, so now to actually apply this PDF export, we need to actually convert this into a zip file. So uh, in Windows, all we have to do is right click, go to our send to, and compressed as zip folder. I'm not too sure how that is in um, Mac. You could probably Google search it, but this is how you do it in Windows. All right, now we need to actually import our PDF export zipped folder that we just made into our Lambda. So inside of my search folder, sorry, inside of my search field, I'm gonna search up Lambda, and we'll go to the Lambda that we just made. So there was this one right here, and to import it, we're gonna click on this dropdown that says Upload From, and I'm gonna click on Zipped File, and I'll click on Upload, and we're looking for this PDF export right here. And I'll go ahead and click Save. And now it's imported. And now here's a little bit of funky stuff. What we need to do is we need to actually take all of these files outside of this folder. If we don't, it doesn't work. And we're just gonna go ahead and delete the folder like that. And I'm gonna click on Deploy. Perfect. Now if we test it out, it should work. So if I go into my React app right here and I click on my sample file, it doesn't show anything there. Which... All right, so after a lot of extensive searching, I figured out why it wasn't working. The reason was it was because I had a small syntax issue. It was a typo. So this on load is actually supposed to be on load with the cap with the lowercase l. And I also decided to get rid of the ternary operator since it's not a huge part of the app. So I just have a simple button and I changed the use state into a empty quotes. And so now if I go into the app and refresh it and I go into my temporary email address, I choose a file, click on sample, send to Lambda it should eventually eventually load with our attachment and our new file so this is our message which is perfect and if we check out our attachment there's our pdf perfect all right that concludes this tutorial all of the resources are in the description below since there was a lot of code here all the repos and there's some Paste bins for all the major files of code that we worked on in this tutorial are in the description below as well. 
And if you did enjoy this video and helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.